Okay, I've got an alpha of the WISE authoring API running. Um, inside my user preferences here, I've got it enabled right there. I've also set up SoundMiner to be the external application. I'll show you that in a second. So I've got an empty project. I'm going to swap to SoundMiner, find a sound. I'm going to say I just want to grab the left track. I'm going to mark a selection. Let's call up some plugins here. Got a super tap going, which will make it sound pretty cacophonous. I think that's a word. Okay. So let's say that I like that. I'm going to hit, well, first of all, I'm going to make sure that I have WISE as the API set up in my DAW. Um, this is the current transfer path that it's going to go to. I've already preset that I want it, the files to be broadcast WAV files and 44.1, I think, is my sample rate. It's also going to embed, um, apart from the broadcast WAV metadata, Adobe XMP metadata. It's going to put in Steinberg IXML metadata. Um, it's just going to jam in as much as it possibly can. So I'm going to hit Control B to bring the sound in. So it transfers, swaps me to Wise, and here's the sound. And sure enough, it's got all those echoes on it. So now, inside uh, Minor, I'll just call up the plugins again just to sort of reset things. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to swap to a different sound change my pitch, do whatever it is that I want. So let's say now that I'm inside Wise and as uh, I've been working on the project, I'm like, you know what? I went a bit crazy on all those delays. So I can select the sound. I can hit Control E, which will uh, open it up in an external editor. And in this case, what Soundminer has done is it's recalled the original file. It's recalled uh, the region that I selected. It's recalled the VST plugin as well as all the settings. And if I had adjusted the pitch, it would have reset or recalled that as well.